Yo, what up, Asian Not Asian listeners? Our stand up comedy show, Hack City, is back. This month, we're at Caveat in the Lower East Side in Manhattan. It's on Tuesday, November 23rd. Doors at 6 30. Show is at 7 o'clock. Come through if you're in New York City. And for the first time ever, and for this show only, there's a live stream option. Tickets available in the episode description, in our Instagram bio, and on AsianNotAsianPod.com. See you there. I'm, I'm looking back now at all of the things that you know my parents went through and some of the behaviors they had and i'm like oh was this depression was this their form of depression hey welcome back to another episode of asian not asian podcast a podcast where two asian guys not from asia talk about american issues no american cares about i'm your host fumi abe and i'm mike nguyen Today is Saturday, November 6th. We are coming at you live from uh, both coasts, New York and L.A. And we hope that this uh, podcast finds you in great health. (laughs) Yes, because now we talk like 18th century Englishmen. Yes. Uh, If you're uh, checking us out uh, on uh, the Apple Podcast app, please hit five stars. Leave us a review. We've been getting some nice reviews. Uh, If you're on Spotify, hit follow so you can always check us out. And if you're on YouTube, this is a big thing on YouTube we're trying to do now. Mm -hmm. You know what? Hit like, hit like, rate, subscribe, whatever, whatever. Leave us a comment because that's a big one. You know, tell us what kind of Asian you are. And not, I'm not talking about like Chinese or, or, or Filipino and shit like that. I'm talking about like, what kind of, are you like a mall Asian? Are mm-hmm. you a, mm-hmm. uh, you know, product manager Asian? Mm-hmm. Or are you mm-hmm. um, getting rejected from uh, apartments Asian? You know, we want to know <laughs> specifics, okay? And of course, finally tell all your friends because that's how we grow, baby. I just want to say one thing about YouTube. This, I hope that there aren't people who are like, I used to listen to you on my phone. And now oh, I yeah. listen to you exclusively on YouTube because babies, we only get paid when you listen to us on your phone. So subscribe to us on both on all the channels. All right, you can watch us on YouTube. Do everything, but be yeah. also be, but be sure to also download us on your iTunes and Spotify and all that because that's it. how we that's how you make money. Okay. Uh, anyways, before we start the show, we always like to give a uh, shout out to our newest Patreon subscriber subscribers. What is Patreon? It is the best way to support the podcast. Uh, we're a completely independent operation. We're not with networks, so uh, we make all our money through you guys. And so, if you like mm-hmm. what you've been listening to. Um, please c- consider giving us your money. Just go to patreon.com slash Asian Not Asian Pod, and in return, you get like bonus episodes. We slide into your DMs. We have fun monthly Zoom hangouts. Um, yep. And most importantly, we try to guess your ethnicity based on your last name. So here we go. Uh, the newest people for this week. I think this person, we might have forgotten to do him. He donated Uh-oh. a long time ago, but we, I don't. don't like I never that. checked them off. And so okay. I'm a special, a special shout out to Jim E. Lee. That's not Jimmy okay. Lee. Jim E. Jim Lee. E. Like, like Robert E. Lee, but Jim E. Lee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, special shouts to uh, Jim E. Lee. J- there's a really famous Jim Lee comic book artist, so it could be him. Maybe. That would be awesome. But also, um, was, maybe he's a descendant of Robert E. Lee. Who knows? Because maybe this maybe. person may not even be Chinese like we think he is. You're right. This guy could be all about, uh, he was, you know, he, he's a big fan of, um, you know, uh, states' rights. You know? Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to say to you, but uh, we're so sorry for your loss. I'm not really sure. Uh, this, the, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. The Confederacy shall live. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, descendants of Robert E. Lee, uh, thank you so much. You're, you're a Robert E. Lee Asian, and we love that about you. Here you me. go. Here you go. You're a states' rights Asian. Yeah. Uh, next, we got Maggie Denman. D-E-N-M-A-N. Denman. Denman. I've, that's these that's these are getting one. so hard. These are hard. I think wow. people are, I think our fans are getting married with people from all over the world just to I agree. Us. Yep. Um I want to say Maggie, you know, she's a she's a she's Chinese, but she married a guy from Denmark. Mm-hmm. But this guy when he he hit his name is so weird in Denmark that when he came here he changed to it. America, he was just like I'm Denman. Denman. Boom. <laughs> Denman. Denman. <laughs> so simple. Okay, so you're congratulations, uh, congratulations uh, on your marriage. We hope your beautiful yeah. is beautiful. Uh, next we have uh, we have Akane Rasamoto. Yep, that is. Uh, I mean, it, it sounds Japanese, but I've actually never met uh, Rasamoto. I'm, you know, Rasamoto. That sounds like a cool like, it's like Mexican anime. Japanese fusion spot. It does. You know? It doesn't sound like Akane is Japanese and like something Moto yep. is Japanese, but I've never met a Rasamoto. I don't know how it's spelled. Rasamoto. It does sound Rasamoto. like like 
like the mixing of some last name. I, yeah, I think I think you're right. I think this is a Mexican Japanese person, and not only I think it's a they, mixing Japanese. Yeah, and they mix the last name as well. They mix the last name and they opened up a new restaurant. It's on Fairfax. So you guys go check it out. If check you like out. sushi tacos, dude, go to Rasamoto's, dude. Rasamoto's so good. tacos, so good, dude. Uh, and last but not least, we have Catherine Milholland. Milholland. <laughs> M-I-L-H-O-L-L-N-D. I feel like I went to school with this person. Did you really? Maybe. I don't know. This just sounds like a regular. I mean, is this person Asian? I have no idea. Uh, fuck. Dude. This is, that's, I don't know. I'm going to say you're from Holland. Just as similar to the Denmark Catherine situation. With a y, like this just, this literally just might sound, this, I think this person is just like, she honestly just might be like a cheerleader, a popular white cheerleader at some, at Sherman Oaks High School. That's what this is, you know? Yeah, well, you know, con- congrats on, on making the team and leading um, the uh, the Lions to another uh, state championship in in um, cheer. Um, yeah. Yeah, and also everybody good luck likes at, you. Good luck at uh, invitationals. We hope you have a good time there. Nice. Uh, <laughs> anyways, you're a cheerleader Asian, and we love that about you. Uh, thank we you so it. much for donating. And again, if you want to get in on this game, go to Patreon.com/slash/AsianNotAsian Pod. Uh, before yep. we start the show, we always uh, I like to ask her questions. We, we always like to la- ask each other, "What kind of Asian were you this week?" Um, I'm gonna go first because Mike has a better story than me. Um, this week, I was a uh, 2006 Asian. Okay. Okay. And what I mean by 2006 Asian is, uh, it's, it actually gets a little sad, but I'm not trying, I'm going to try to tell it in a, in a not sad way, but okay. uh, uh, I was doing stand up, and uh, I think I've talked about this it's before. It's already sad. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah it's, already- <laughs> it's so sad. The end. You're doing stand up, you say? <laughs> oh my God. You poor bastard. <laughs> what? Who hurt okay. you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So I, I think what I, uh, on an episode that I recorded a couple months ago, I was talking about how like, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to understand LA because some parts are very much like New York. Some parts I feel like I'm on Staten Island. Some parts I yeah, feel like yep, I'm yep, in the yep, middle yep, of Ohio. Yep, and I was totally. doing a show like in the Valley somewhere, and um, it was a packed show, and I got heckled in a way that I haven't been heckled since 2006, and that's before I was doing stand up. This is just me getting heckled <laughs> in life. I was set just I in life. A, yeah, yeah. I, I have a. I mean, like it was. This was so so regressive that i didn't i i didn't even i didn't have time to address it because it was yeah, so yeah 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 crazy. yeah but basically i have this bit about like how i'm bad at sexting because i like to te- whenever i text i put like an lol or an emoji after everything I oh type, yeah right and so i have like i do some act outs of that but I was, I was like setting up that joke i was like i'm not really good at sexting because and before i could get to the lol emoji line the guy in the front row he's like this fat white guy he goes <coughs> small dick <laughs> small dick oh my god it's <laughs> like i haven't i haven't gotten that in so long you know yeah that, that's i mean vintage. that's that's a vintage yeah. 2006 mint condition fucking you know that's a that's a old yeah man i hope that yeah. shit was in the wrapper still it yeah, really that's was. <laughs> yeah that's like in your dad's baseball card collection racism you know right yeah yep. yeah and it like threw me off but i only had like eight minutes and i was like you know, I don't get I don't get to get up a lot in in LA. Yeah, I'm just less you wanted to do, and your so thing. I yeah. just ignored it, and I decided to like work on new stuff. But it was like, I don't know. It, I guess it kind of annoyed me, but at the same time, it was it was so so far. It was like racism from so long ago. Yeah, that that I I couldn't help but laugh. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it was like just so crazy. Did uh, it didn't like disrupt the show, did it? Did you? No, like, because just, because I didn't call him out. So if you I didn't did, like, ro- you just rolled right over it. Yeah, I, ro- I rolled right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I um, did. Was he a problem for the rest of the show with, for other people? No, because I think hecklers. You know, anytime I see like a like an active heckler at a comedy show, I think they want to perform. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Uh, they want to perform, and so if you don't give them the attention, then they they get like insecure about it. You know what I mean? And they don't right. So he didn't like do anything else. Yeah, because like if I gave him attention, he would be like, "Ooh, like now people are looking at me. Now I can be funny." You know, mm. uh, you give him mm. the ball. But if you ignore him, it's usually fine. But uh, yeah, I uh, I, I experienced some um, vintage nineteen uh, seventies uh, racism, and um, that's beautiful. It was, it was beautiful. It was that's beautiful. a beautiful 2006 racism. I feel that's like around the time that Ja Rule was real big. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's some yeah. Ashanti it racism. Really, right it there. really is. Ashanti was there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Dazzle Jeans. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, like uh, uh, Van Dutch hats. Uh, yeah. That's a good one. Um, I mean, yeah, I feel you. I feel like with... Um, I kind of like got a little... 
heckled like that not it, this wasn't like an, a vintage one this was like it was like a context specific <laughs> heckle um and i i was just like i i sometimes will stop and like address it but it takes a lot of energy to do that yeah. and i do feel like the show is going really well so i was like why would we want to like take this off ramp to this shitty mcdonald's when we're having such a good time on the freeway yeah, you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, like yeah so i feel you dude that's uh that's that's hilarious yeah yeah, um, so that was me. Um, what kind of Asian were you this week, Mike? This week, I was a... Uh, I've been trying to think about how to how to phrase this, but I was a clown Asian, okay? okay. And usually okay. I'm a clown. That's my kind of like semi-full-time job now. But uh, it, it, it... So basically what happened is uh, my friend got married and he wanted to have uh, a reception. He, he already got married some time ago, but, you know, because of COVID, he wanted to have... A nice reception where it was, it's a big party for all of his friends and this is in this is in dallas so we all like a bunch of us all go to dallas i'm a groomsman and i don't know a lot of these guys i know like one or two of them but we're all on a group text and the idea came around so even though there's no like ceremony there's still kind of an entrance with the groomsman and with the bridesmaid separately right so we were all talking, and let me tell you something. Whenever you get a bunch of guys onto a group text, nothing good happens. It's always bad. <laughs> it's always going to be a bad thing. Okay, and there's never, no one has ever been like, oh, I understand life now because of this group text. It's always, no, we're going to jail. All of us are going to jail now because of this group text. <laughs> so, it it we had this somehow this idea happened where like, oh, we're going to do like a fun walkout. You know how that's kind of a thing now in weddings. Yeah. Yeah. And I think some of them may listen to the pod. So if you're listening to this, this all comes from a pace, place of love and confusion. Mike okay, hates but you. Yep. Yeah. So, so just just remember that, okay? Um, you know, you guys are all, they were all, all super nice guys. But uh, we decided to do um, this kind of like, I don't know, like unexpected twist of a walkout. So the kind of premise of it is that the there's going to be like a romantic uh, Michelle Branch kind of song come out first. And then it makes it look like it's going to be romantic. And then the music cuts out and then Roddy Rich, they're like, the, it switches to Roddy Rich. Okay. And then, you know, all the groomsmen are going to come out with like, we're going to like throw money. So we had like this fake money printed up that had the bride and groom's on, groom on it. And we had this like, we all were supposed to wear sunglasses and just like, you know, just yeah, ham it up. Yeah, this is cute. Yeah, this is fine. Cute. It's cute. cute. It's cute. Easy. My God, Easy. the the coordination it took for all of this to happen was just like we were texting about it for like weeks and weeks, like you know, figuring it. This is very short. This whole gag, maybe thirty seconds, okay. maybe thirty seconds long. Okay, but um, uh, you know, like the guy who's supposed to go out and the first, the he's like the he's the best man, and uh, I don't know him very well, but apparently, if you know him, he's very he's a very quiet. He's not like he's like the anti Mike Nguyen. He's very quiet and like just wants to stay out of spotlight and is a, a good person. Okay, uh, every everything that I'm not right. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. but we, it took so long for us to try to explain to him what he was supposed to do as far as like okay at this point you do this and at this point you do this, and it made me realize that like I have put all of my eggs into the clown basket, mm -hmm. and I'm so comfortable just being a total clown. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like i'm you know i'm i'm just like you know Fum, you know you, you and i we do like all sorts of live shows and we just like talk about it very quickly okay okay we're gonna do this and you can bring this up and then and we're, okay okay you got i got it oh okay and then also if you want to bring up this egg we got an egg ha 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 it's gonna be an egg joke ha ha you know like we just like we just <laughs> yeah. throw shit out there yeah you yeah. know we <laughs> you know but for people who are not fucking clowns like i am like the just this very simple 30 second long little i wouldn't even call it a bit it was just kind of like a, a proto silly, bit yeah yeah a silly gag you know yeah, was yeah. just like it, it, it you know it took all this time to do and uh and it, it was fine because of course it's only 30 seconds you know right, you almost right. can't fuck it up yeah the, the the most hilarious part though was uh as a joke i had put and again there should be no text messages group text messages with more than two men at the same time let's just say that <laughs> three men we just get dumber and dumber the more of yeah. us are on it i had put on this group chat we're, we're like okay we're gonna like throw money in the air and i had put into this group chat as a joke uh oh we should buy the supreme money gun i found one on ebay and i put the link into the group chat <laughs> and some motherfucker bought the supreme money gun <laughs> how much it was is it five hundred dollars <laughs> okay 
and 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 we're working on it we're like playing with it like on the day of and like it turns out that it shoots money terribly and we have to use like this other kind of money that it came with and and the, <laughs> the best fucking part this is five hundred dollars okay and, and and we've been we've been like talking this whole thing up because what's going to happen what's supposed to happen is the groomsmen we do our stupid gag and then and then the um the uh the bridesmaids come out and they have this whole dance set up mm-hmm. with, it's all elaborate and then the the bride and groom come out and he's supposed to take out his supreme money gun and shoot it with all this money it's supposed to be a big thing and the way you're supposed to do it is you're kind of supposed to hold it straight up into the air so that it kind of like makes it look really flowery which is fine but he held it up in the air and all the money fell out of the gun. It come, It's like top loaded. So like it <laughs> fell out. So he couldn't even do it. And then, it, and then he had to reach it to his pocket where he had other money, fake like money, and money. He threw that in oh, there. Fake money. Okay, okay, okay. Fake money. But I was just like, dude. <laughs> dude, $500 for not one laugh? That's... For not even one laugh. Just, it just looked like he had a plastic gun and then he threw that on the ground and just threw <laughs> money there. Five hundred dollars. Weeks of texting back and forth. We worked out like we had a DJ. We had all, all this coordination. I wow. mean, let me tell you, Fumi, you would have been if you were a, the producer in charge of this segment, you would have been pissed. I would have been. Yeah, <laughs> you I would have been, off a bridge. I can't sure. believe we spent money <laughs> on this. So, anyways, yeah. I was a clown agent. Yeah, I love that. Um, yeah, I mean, I think. Yeah, it is weird. I, I think if you're not in the professional clown biz, even a simple task like, hey, we're going to put on sunglasses and like shake your butts for five seconds. People like don't understand what that is, you know. It was it was just, yeah, it was like, you know, it. yeah, I, I think decent people, they they just don't understand something it's like good. that, which I mean, is why fair. Would, why, would you, like, why would you want to understand why, why would someone you? would need yeah, exactly. to do that, this, you know? This is absolutely nothing. That you would never do this at Google. You would never yeah, do this at, at PricewaterhouseCoopers, never, you know? Never. so. Um, well, that's great. Um, I definitely want to ask uh, our guest what kind of Asian uh, she has been this week. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. Our guest this week, uh, she's been on the podcast before. Uh, you may have known her as the co-host of the Add to Cart podcast along with Suchin Pak. Uh, please welcome back to the podcast, the hilarious Kula. Yay! Yay! So good to be back, guys. Um, Mike, uh, you said decent people. They just don't understand like you were Will Smith. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> parents just decent people just don't understand word word. I uh, bow, bow, bow. was yeah. talking about my uh, this with my friend too. Of just like I, even if you're not a clown, even if you are, um, you're more normal. I guess. <laughs> I, guess. <laughs> I, I we can't be friends if you can't carry a bit. You don't have to drive. You gotta have the bit. You gotta have the bit. You can't. You can't drop the bit. it. Yes, you don't drop, drop the bit. The bit. Like, wow. I can't. Yo, that's it's a just, great, that's a great a way to phrase it. Right, because it's like, I, I, sometimes when, yeah, it is, I just like, how, how do normies, like, how do they communicate? Because with me and my friends, it's bit, bit, Everything, bit. Everything's real a talk, bit, 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 yeah. bit. <laughs> real, real talk, talk. crying into a bit. <laughs> crying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know that you got it to a really good bit when someone's crying at the end, but not like a like sad, I mean, a sad cry, but not because you hurt their feelings, but because you yeah. like hit like a vein of deep vein of emotion, yes. which is where yes. the bit is coming from in the first place. True, Did you have like true. a crazy uh anything crazy for your wedding? Did you ever do like any fun like dance thing? I, that was like a oh, big yeah. thing for a while. Everybody was like do it like a dance with Chris Brown or Rapping yeah, that was like, or something they did it like on that. the um remember when they did it on the office on one of the seasons it became a huge yes thing? exactly yes. Ex- yeah. i feel yeah. that was like peak craziness yeah. of like normal choreographed people dance. choreographed at, dance at weddings, yeah at weddings you know yeah what's the not like what's the flash mob kind of like do yes. people flash mob still is that still i think a thing? it's i think it's still kind of a thing but i think people are kind of like it you know i don't know what the newest thing is now. now now the new thing is like the knockout game or something i don't know you know it's oh, like okay. something violent you know but like <laughs> you know like did, <laughs> did, did you ever yeah did you ever do anything like that in your wedding i no i mean i we we got married uh at the train station or um one of the rooms near the train station union station and in oh. la Okay. And um, uh, it was originally supposed to be outside. The that is the uh, the ceremony, mm-hmm. um, and uh, right beside the room that we were gonna have the reception. And then, like maybe two hours before the 
the vows and whatnot, uh, we realized that um, there was a mariachi uh, competition televised across oh, the way in Alvera Street. And um, yeah, so it was like, we got to shift it. And I remember oh being my God. so like in my wedding dress, so upset, like just because <laughs> you planned it this way and it wasn't going to be that way. And me like, but not wanting to ruin my makeup. So me like, yeah, yeah, don't. Yeah, just yeah, not like, moving trying, at all. Like moving my, <laughs> moving my head to like catch the tears back into my eyes. Like push the tears back. Just, so just it flipping them back mascara. like omelets. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> But it was perfect and it ended up being fine. Yes. Um, the only thing nice. was uh, that was kind of like, I would say cheesy is like Scott and I both really love music and we were really specific about like with the DJ, like what we wanted, what we didn't want. And then he made the mistake of thinking that our wedding was the night before. Oh, shit. And he basically double booked. And so he had to scramble and find somebody. And no. that guy, uh, it, was so, it was so messed up. And how we, we were, um, there's a nice restaurant in the train station and we were having our, um, the night before, like sort of like with our family um, yeah, yeah. dinner. Okay. And we saw yeah. him with his gear, like go towards our venue. And we're like, wait, why Where is he doing? here? <gasps> what are you doing here and then yeah so he had to bring somebody this dude was cheesy like oh yes yes he he set up global global lights that's not what i want (laughs) 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 like that and then he like everything that like we like he just played he's like just trust me you know and like yeah it's it's like uh, what like we had yep. a list you know and he's nope. playing things that you know like the cheesy weddings like yes 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 oh, oh, God. Times, come on <laughs> like i, was I like, can't Wah. gotta gotta <laughs> gotta 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 appease the the 50 year old uncle who's who flew mean, in from wisconsin you know it's yeah just i get so, it we're like what <sighs> and at some point you just have to like just surrender get it. and just, just let it just go get into you know? it. Yeah. yeah oh my god yeah yeah i also uh love that you say that you know the only cheesy thing in the wedding that you have but weddings are cheesy okay yeah with the whole f- love cheesy Jeez. so oh, cheesy that's so, true. Lame. That's true. so lame so you know? lame so hack so hack, so hack. Oh, oh you guys Been you guys done. love each other <laughs> come on everybody's we, we've Very seen this before you know yeah boring cool up I wanted to, we wanted to ask you, you know, we talked about what kind of Asians we were this week. We wanted to ask you, what kind of Asian were you this week? Well, jingle jangle, I'm a Christmas Asian. <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> I can't, we're, so, it, you know, it, we're, if, if you're watching, if you're listening on, uh, you know, on stream, you can't see, but Kulop has gone full uh, Starbucks and just already set up the Christmas decorations. It's a little early. I'm going to have to Too say Too early. It's a little early. You think, we were- guys, I hear that. I hear it. And you, do you think you're the first people to say that to me? <laughs> you think I haven't heard this ad nauseum? <laughs> you talking what? to me like this is like you guys telling me you're in love. Okay? <laughs> Jeez. Now. Get out of here, well, you tell us, tell us a little bit about what, I don't know, how, how did you become a Christmas Asian? Well, no that I did not grow up in a household where we had Christmas trees. Mm. My dad was like, mm. no, we have a bay leaf mm. plant. We have a lime McCrude <laughs> yep, plant. Yep, you want to yep. put lights on that? Yep, you want to yep. put <laughs> you want to put presents around the huge terracotta pot <laughs> <laughs> when I've pulled it from the balcony into the yeah, house. There you Absolutely. go. Yeah. Go it's ahead, got spiders. Girls. That's fine. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Yeah. Do yeah. it. Do it. Were you were you always sad about that? Like growing up? I yeah. I think I was, you know, I mean, have I bought into culture? Am I a, a sheep? Yeah, guys. Okay, yeah. fine. Yeah, I'm a sheep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> fine. Yeah. Do I love Christmas movies? Yes. I do. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> like and yeah, and so creating my own traditions and just I I you know, I am an aesthetic bitch. I love <laughs> making things beautiful. I like things to be cool. You yes. know, Mike. Oh my god! I, I would have considered cool. getting the um, the money gun. Um, yes, I would have yes. considered it, but then the thing is, flip side, I would have read the reviews and I went to bought it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, yep. Yeah. You know, you do like have I the like, podcast about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
not to shift into a sadder topic, but this, Ooh, can't wait. <laughs> this episode, this episode is we want to do kind of like a follow up to the mental health episode we did a couple of weeks ago, which, by the way, downloads were shit, but uh, the engagement was high, Mike. The engagement was high. Yeah. OK. The engagement yep. was high. Yeah. A lot of people no, writing it's, it's, in. it's like it's like very few people cared, but the people who did care cared a lot. And that's yes, what we like. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if that's good or not. I really, I don't we, know. We, we, when we released it, we're like, this is going to be the thing that changes us. Nope. Not, I think nope. a lot of people got sad. But the people yep. who got sad with us uh, were really into it. And we got They're a lot of DMs. Die. Yeah. And it kind of made me, uh, it was interesting because I always thought that our fans were kind of like goofy motherfuckers, you know? Goofy, mm. goofy people. Christmas agents, yeah. if you will. Yeah, Christmas you know? agents. Christmas agents. But I didn't know that a lot of our fans were also going through a similar thing, if not, you know, maybe something even more serious. Like, I think a lot of our fans get sad. And that's something that yeah. we don't really consider on this podcast because we're just out here, you know, talking about Supreme Money Guns. And, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. it's, uh, and it, I, it kind of shocked me. I don't know. How did you feel about all the feedback we got? I mean, it was, I, I was, I was shocked to hear so many people who were like, yes, I am also sad and depressed. Yeah, I mean, I feel that all of us are, uh, all it would take for all of us to go, hey, life is stupid, right? And we should all stop working. Uh, that's something I think is, is, is like only, it, it, it's only like a little while a away from now. You know, mm -hmm. we're all mm -hmm. just going to stop and go, wow, this is a crazy existence that we all have. And we're all, we should all like acknowledge that, uh, you know, we're all, we're all bummed out. Yeah. And I think it like the, 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 trend is that now it's more acceptable to talk about it you know what i'm yeah. saying yeah. whereas yeah. before yeah. as uh you know you, you either just I, I think for a long time people just didn't know how to how to say it you know what i'm saying yeah you, you just ended up like instead going to the going to a bar and getting drunk or or like right, or, right, or not right, talking right, to right. your kids or something like that you know i, I mean true. even for you for me like you, you were like i mm -hmm. if you didn't have the word depressed i feel you wouldn't even you know because you, even you were saying that I don't want to say I'm depressed or whatever because you you just had this other feeling, and imagine if you didn't even have that like lexicon, right? If you didn't have right, the right. word depressed, I know like I would just be know? like, man, I'm like sleepy all the time and I hate you guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. You'd, you'd be our parents. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying, right? Yeah. yeah, you would just be like, well, I guess I better work harder, you know, something like that, or you, yeah, it would just like manifest itself. That's a in, that's a good like point. Different ways because I remember when we had a conversation. I forget who we were talking to, but we were talking about um, you know, I think it's about a year ago when there were a lot of news articles about the rise in violence against Asian people and like hate crimes and stuff. We were, we, you know, the stats were really really high. They were like there's an 800 percent increase, and I remember, I remember you <laughs> and I had, we were talking about like there probably wasn't an 800 percent increase. There was probably no. just more people talking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven, yeah. Right, and I think maybe that's what's happening. Is like I think. People were just always feeling this way, not necessarily sad and suicidal, but just kind of, you know, having various mood swings or whatever, getting sad uh, for whatever reason. And now that they can talk about it, so, but it, but before we weren't, so it just kind of feels like there's a whole rush of sad emo Asians. When in fact, yeah. we we're born emo, babies. We're so emo, dude. I mean, Asian people were yeah. so emo, dude. You know, I mean, um, like, yeah. So one of the things that was brought up is like, um, I was talking to a friend about this and, and she was like, you know, okay, so you, you moved to LA, you know, you don't, you, you, your friends aren't here and you're working all the time. You're, you're getting sleepy, you're getting depressed. And they were like, how do you cope with it? Like, what do you do to not go there? Or what do you do when you find yourself in situations? You know, how do you deescalate? And I didn't have an answer because I never really yeah. thought of it that way. Maybe because I'm new to the game, new to the depression game. New to new. Yo, yo, what's good? <laughs> what's good? Shouts. I'm, I'm yeah, new. Yeah, yeah. I'm new here. I'm new exactly. here, but I can't wait. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't, know. So, can't so wait I wanna, to, so I want to ask Kulap. Kulap is a is a is a uh, holistic health expert. You see, oh, uh, she's oh. into she's into she's into healing. You see, she loves healing, and uh, I just wanted to ask. You know, uh, she may not have the uh, answers, uh. but just <laughs> see, she's holding up she's random holding objects crystals. and just rubbing on her face. I think one yeah. of them is a, is a Christmas ornament. I don't even think she knows. Crystals. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I just like shiny things. I'm like, heal me. Heal you. <laughs> yeah, you just like gold. Um, but yeah, I just. But, but I do. Yeah. Let that be known. I don't want your listeners not to know that. I love gold. <laughs> Gave me that 24K, baby. Oh, I love gold. <laughs> you are so, yeah, you're, that, that is definitely a Southeast Asian. I feel that was how Southeast Asian people dealt with depression. Depression? They're yes, just like, yes. we just got to get more gold. We need yeah. more gold. Yeah. And I want to be able to chew it. Let it bend. Yo, yes, exactly. Yo, I want, yes, I want to be able, I used to have a 24 karat, uh, like, ingot, a fucking ingot that had, wow. like, on one side a fucking phoenix 
Whoa. And the other side had a dragon. And a, mate, dude, I look like a dim sum restaurant walking around, dude. It was so fire. <laughs> and I would sometimes bite it. I would be like, yo, this is so soft. Um, maybe that's, <gasps> that was can, my way of dealing. I mean, I was a teenager. It was yeah, tight as fuck, but yeah. 24 carats, super it's soft. yellow. It's like a yellow, so yellow. orange. Yeah. Like nuclear. Yeah. Nuclear. But, I mean, interesting. Cool up. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, you, you, you've, you've talked before about, you know, you, you kind of do different things. And I like the idea of healing, you know, that's, I think something that resonates with a lot of people. Cause it's not just like dealing with stuff, you know, it's, it's also like, how do I get to like a better place? You know Yeah. What I mean? Just to add to what you were saying earlier about this sort of collective sadness, um, in, in many ways, what happened to us, what is happening to us in this last two years uh, regarding the pandemic yeah. was we're having a shared experience, right? One year ago, I recall not like walking my dogs with a mask and being so afraid of the outside. Yeah, totally. You know, mm -hmm, totally. And, and even even before that, before a year ago, just like, is it uh, is it on, is it on my apples? Is it on yeah. my boxes? Is it? Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. This is, on top of everything, you know, whatever you brought with you in your lifetime yep. to, yep. you know, if you're even people who, um, you know, are more of our soft power folks who don't are, are uh, don't need to be around a lot of people, they were affected, right? Yeah, like, sure. and I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. so I I need to be alone to recharge, but I I get a lot from being around people. Same, I, I'm the I same get way. It. So yes. now I'm by myself. Yeah, uh, I don't like that. Yeah, in, in I have a beautiful home. It's it's wonderful. It started to feel somewhat like a prison. And yeah. I was looking out the window a lot, um, but not mm. really the middle space between yes. wherever yes. I was in the window. Mm. Like yes, it, yes. It, it is there's so so and our pop culture talks a lot more about the sadness. I just saw the the upcoming Kid Cudi documentary, A Man mm. Named Scott. And that mm -hmm. delves into, you know, that as well. It, it just, it's more, it's a conversation that we have. And yeah. younger kids talk about it, right? Yeah. In, yeah. in Cuddy's uh, um, documentary, you have Willow. And Willow, mm -hmm. you know, like the art now is like, it's emo. We're all emo it's so now. Emo. Her new <laughs> song emo. is so emo and I love it. I love spot. it too. I love that spot. song. Yo, so good. Yeah. Maybe when I get older, I'll be stronger and I'll stay up later. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like it's so, okay. So I just wanted to, uh, us, yeah, like I yeah. feel you, I understand. Level set. Yeah. Level set, like, so, and I was, it was, I go through, I'm a, I, as much as I'm up, you guys, like yeah. I, I can hit those lows, you know, <laughs> sure. like yeah, really low. You, you and, got range, and, you got range, girl. You got oh, range, dude. That, that's it. That's you're the, yeah, it. you're that's the Mariah right. Carey of emotions, dude. You yeah. know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. The highs and oh, the yeah. lows, you know? Oh, yeah. Eight octaves. I mean, mm. Seriously. And we, when we're low, we are in the underworld. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I feel you. Yeah. We're in the underworld. And um, it's not something that I generally bring to the public. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like it's not something that I, you know, um, because at those times I don't even know what's up and what's down. Yep. So it, it's, and my mom, you know, like I'm going through stuff with my mom right now. She's got like health issues, but mm -hmm. at the end, mm -hmm. of the, I thought maybe it was like early onset dementia. Mm -hmm. But as I'm like listening and FaceTiming through, uh, you know, because they're, they're in Minnesota, like a neurology uh, appointment, it, it occurs to me, like. Also, my mom is so sharp because like she was answering questions by this neurology, uh, this mm. neurologist that was like, hey, 100 minus seven, minus seven, minus seven. Yeah, and like yeah. the after the third one, I wouldn't know. And she was like, yeah, yeah. Boop, 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 you know, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. when it oh, when it comes push to shove, like she's her ego still there. Yeah. But like <laughs> it occurs to me like, yeah. no, actually, she's just depressed. Yo, mm. word. And, but it's the best part was like the, the neurologist, like, oh, what do you think about like seeing a therapist or like a psychotherapist? You know, because sometimes when you're dealing with stuff, it's hard to have all that back stuff. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. it's going in your head. I mean, what do you think? She's like, no. It's yeah. like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that is, it's, it's so no. interesting because I do feel like, you know, our generation and, and, and the younger people, they're more cognizant of this and dealing with it. And of course, like the stigma of it. Yeah. And I think if anything, I mean, our parents, I'm, I'm looking back now at all of the things that, you know, my parents 
went through and some of the behaviors they had and i'm like oh was this depression was this their form of depression mm. you know for example yes. um this is just like a small thing but like my parents never threw anything away and my mm. house it wasn't like a total mess but it was a messier i remember always going over to my friends houses uh you know like my white friends houses and their houses would always be really nice and neat and i'm like oh this is nice this is this is cool and you guys wear your shoes inside so and it's so like this is crazy like how do you guys keep it so clean and i would go back to my house and again it wasn't like you know a disaster but we kind of like it was a little bit messier you know we kind of like didn't like clean up all the time and i was like uh, and now i look back and i'm like is this like some thing that maybe my mom didn't want to you know it was just like some way that she kind of manifested like things that she went through because the things that she had gone through you know uh you know fleeing a, a war-torn country and and not knowing where if her family had lived and all these things there wasn't any time where she went and like did a six-month backpacking tour to find herself a you silent know, retreat. To yeah. Yeah. yeah she never she found a psych yeah. retreat yeah. she yeah. didn't like rub you know salt on her taints you know it's like yeah. what she yeah. she she just kind of like went on you know hey guys yeah. don't don't rub salt on your taints i know we're all <laughs> i just, don't I do just that. really want to be clear please to the do listeners that. Please, that, that, please, that just uh, don't yeah. do that i mean that's, uh, <laughs> what if you get canceled because people yeah. are rubbing I mean, from salt that on from the salt the salt well let me go back if you i guess if you have rough skin on your taints and you need to exfoliate yeah. but like i okay. wouldn't make yeah. it a thing yeah but like not make me but you know like our parents didn't really go through like any kind of way to do i mean you know fortunately i think my you know she has her sisters and and her brothers and you know that's another thing but like you know she has a support network from a larger vietnamese community but like you know like they never stopped and explicitly kind of dealt with a lot of these things you know how could they they had to survive they're survivors exactly it's it's impossible to think a, a different way you know Yep. Um, and look what they've been able to do. I totally get it. And for your mm-hmm. mom, I, I speak about your mom like I speak for my mom. It's like holding on to things is like they lost their country. They lost yeah. their family yeah. members. They lost like right. any sense of like, you know, that that the be, you know, innocence in a way. And then also yes. Yes. when they had holding on to things is part of is like there were lean fucking times. There were refugee yes. camps that were trying to figure out how to resettle in America when, you know, and just having to make, you know, a dollar out of like five cents. Like it's, and so it's like, I'm going to hold on to this because I might need it. And that's just, that's survivor. That's being a survivor. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And for my mom, like she actually, I don't even like, I don't pressure. I used to, but I, I don't pressure my mom into really doing anything, especially Mm -hmm. therapy because she's not an introspective person. And mm-hmm. for her specifically, that's a house mm-hmm. of cards that is barely, barely staying up. Mm, yeah, and I almost don't yeah, even dude. want that for her. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. I mean, she's got her process for for how whatever she, you know dealing with her thing. Like you know, hey, I, I'll talk about me being sad that I didn't get booked at you know the comedy club, you know, <laughs> with my therapist. <laughs> or oh you know, man, I don't know if I can. Uh, uh, should I stay in Brooklyn or maybe I should move to Queens? You know, like <laughs> and, hey, those are those are my things. I get it, but I I feel like hey, that's that's one kind of you know trauma and 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 you know it, it's 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 my thing and it's important. But like there, there's everyone kind of deals with it in different ways. And I think you know our our parents and you, you, your sounds like your mom, you know, she's got her thing going on. Uh, and I agree. I, I see. I hear you. It it would be, it would be a tremendous amount of work. And who knows if it would really, you know, where she would end up if she went through that. You know. Yeah. What's the like? Here's a question. Like, do you think if our parents, like, because you were mentioning the house of cards is barely staying up, I feel that is true for so many older immigrant Asian people. If they went to therapy, is do you think there's also a mindset of like? Well, I am 65 now. So what what do you want me to do? You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's, it's like the unpa- unpacking can be yeah, helpful and and healing for somebody who's 25 because they get the life in front of them, you know. And that's but, interesting. And also I, I, we we have the luxury. We really do. We stand on their shoulders and we have the luxury really to just like yeah. to be like, oh, like 
introspective to be like yep. yeah be and on a podcast <laughs> to be on a podcast yeah, yeah exactly oh, God, you're did so they ever right. think that they, did, did any did any of our ancestors have that in the cards hell no <laughs> when they're on the helicopter no. they're thinking about my hell son not, will one dog. day be on oh, a you, you go back medium further, okay? you think, podcast <laughs> you think some nguyen you think some nguyen dynasty dude on horseback he's fighting off the 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 fifth chinese invasion and he's like man one yeah. day my ancestors, they're going to be on a podcast. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> anyways you, guys, you guys got to cut my, uh, you guys got to cut off my leg because it's getting gangrenous. And yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what's, you know what's anyways, funny though? Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But sorry, that was sorry. a long way to not answer your question, Fumi. I'm so yes. sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't even no, no, no. This ask. is good. I don't even. We, we would love to. Yeah. Yeah. I, continue. I also want to. Okay. This is this is so fascinating because I, I do feel like so cool. Up a couple of weeks ago, I was talking about how like I've been experiencing a lot of depression symptoms, and I think it's a lot of it just like moving to LA. But it, it's yeah. so ridiculous to think about it uh, in relative to her parents' lives. Because, like, I remember when my mom moved to Ohio. Like, I'm having these thoughts. I'm like, well, my friends aren't here. And, like, my community's not here. But it's like, I'm yeah. in L.A. You know, people, I speak the language. I know some people. Yeah. There's, there's, there's juices here. There's, you know, there's hot girls. <laughs> like, you know, where it's like, my mom came here and she, like, went to Ohio. There's, like, no Japanese people. They don't speak, they don't speak, she doesn't speak the English. I remember she would just, like, be always watching TV. Uh, like yeah. recorded tapes yes. that my grandmother would send yes, uh, yes, yes, of yes, Japanese yes. television and she would just be like in her pajamas all day and like you're right Mike maybe that was like a sign of depression that I didn't really know I just this is like her how could she deal with it I was, I was like how in the she third grade I didn't know you know you know yeah. I, I get it yeah yeah well but yes it's so good to recognize and know that but it it also is a tra trap and I'm not saying you're saying this feeling, but it is sometimes a trap to go well it's not it's just not that bad Right. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, like, it, and mm -hmm. mind stuff is like, it, it is so, it's thought of so differently. Cause if, if you broke your arm, yeah, you, you know, it's like, that's oh, not so bad, but yeah, because no, it's visible it yeah. and, right. you know, easy to, it's like arm broken. <laughs> like, ow. Right. like yeah. it's just easy yeah. to explain, you know, like it, there's something a little bit, it, I don't know. My mental stuff it's it's still even though we're talking about it more it's still it's hard especially when you are going through something it's not like you have all of the words to explain it right <laughs> like, right yeah. right right like well sometimes i feel this way sometimes i don't yes that's that's, um, a, yes. that's a really good yes. point about the arm thing it's almost like you know in um video games if you're playing like an rpg video game and uh, <laughs> your character gets poisoned yes. your health yes poison it turns it turns, and then, and it like, turns green and right you, and it, you just take a little damage yes. each time like but five, people can five see, hit points but people can see you are poisoned because your character's you're all poisoned. green and shit you're green it's all like, green and, we, and then i gotta hit you with the with the antidote with the antidote, antidote I, we need a mental health <laughs> video game bar uh that tells right. you what state you're in. So I think Honestly, people know. It that's a great idea. Help so much, but I mean, maybe that's what Zux is doing with the metaverse. With metaverse, I know. I was about to think. Word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, but is it? Wouldn't that be so much like because we honestly don't know. We have to keep going. Hey, I don't know. Everyone's dealing with their own shit, but so yeah. many, so much conflict, especially like with strangers or not even. You don't know that what happened two seconds ago. You know what mm. I mean? So if we mm. add that it would be easier yeah yeah um you know especially on the internet if that could also be part of your twitter handle so you could go all right well he's having a bad day <laughs> like yeah, I'm, yeah. Not gonna, I'm not gonna respond to this you know what he's, i mean he's poisoned but dude. unfortunately yeah. that's not the case right and it's like not only are we dealt like there's just like especially the, on social media and the internet you're just seeing um, because everybody thinks they're special i'm not saying they're not but there's something about <laughs> the social media that kind of like everyone's on their soapbox right but yeah. and, and yeah. with that said it's just like clearly just rampant mental illness the question is how do you deal with it yeah you got you um, got poisoned okay you got you a self poisoned. antidote poisoned. how do you get your what's your self antidote that you you know that you hope is going to help you a little bit from taking so much you know hp damage you know <laughs> yeah and and i would say for myself it's like you're like oh i'm like how do i know if I'm depressed, uh, for me, mm. I sometimes will just, I, I feel sad. I don't kind of want to engage. 
Mm-hmm. I, I'm just, I kind of feel like every, everything it has, it's not rose colored glasses. It's something else. Right. Yeah. Everything's yeah. So, like, um, and also for me, like, I'll just sometimes like start crying. Mm-hmm. And I, I remember Good talking cry. about therapy, like just, just intermittent, like crying, like a yeah. little bit yeah. here, there, not like wailing. In fact, if, if I, if I wailed, it would be more of a relief. Like it would be a primal sort of release. Yes, yes. And I, and I talked to my therapist, and I was like, "Man, maybe I need, um, maybe I should, I should get it on something like maybe an antidepressant or something like that." Because this crying, and my therapist was like, "Well, I think it's actually like a, a good for you, um, because it's like a canary in the coal mine. It like tells you something. Let's not or, take away yeah. that signal." Ooh, and I yes, was like, oh, yes. "All right, all right, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah." You know, like I, because I have a really just because of the where I grew up, who, who, who I grew up, like just a high pain tolerance. And sometimes like it, it, it for me, I have to like, I'll stop to not feel something. And that mm. is like uh, imagery for that would be like putting your hand on top of like a stove and just like yep. <laughs> hanging, yep. you know, and just like hanging. Yeah. just hanging and not like, it, even, like even smelling and like, what's that? What's that smell? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. You what's know, cooking? like, what's cooking? That's, oh, that's weird. Weird. Not moving the hand look at everywhere else, right? And on mm-hmm. social media, you know? So I have to really be mindful. I have to be mindful yes. and go, okay, I'm. this is something that is happening yep. right now and I have to ask for help. Yep, that's And that good. can I've... be from my community. I I, I I do believe in therapy for myself. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. I think that helps a lot. Um, and, and it is community. It's, it's talking to my partner, it's talking to my friends, it's asking for help. Um, yeah. mm. that's a good one. and it's not for, and help is not fix me. Cause sometimes no. when you're down, it's just like, can I just, I, just be with me? Yeah. 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 Just be, be I with feel me. you. I feel you. Damn. That's like a, that's like an R and B song. That's, that's really Yo, nice. Be with that's me. That's a good song. Cool I mean, it's a Christmas song about depression. I definitely think that the, 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 the self-awareness mindfulness of just like knowing that something's happening is a useful first step Mm. you know because uh, i have some like nieces and nephews who are really young and and they're like one or two and sometimes they get upset about something but they don't know why they're you know i'm saying like yeah Mm -hmm. they're obviously immature so they're just crying but they don't know why you know and they don't know how to fix it and they're just reacting right mm-hmm. and i think if you're if you can know yourself well enough where you know okay there's something going on here and I, now i'm aware of it mm-hmm. i'm still sad but i know i'm sad like that sounds kind of crazy like not crazy but like that sounds kind of self uh it, it, it sounds like you, you wouldn't need to have that but i think people sometimes will feel a certain way and then like disregard that as just being like yeah. this is just how life is you know it yes. sucks you know and yeah. I think for me, for you, you kind of like, you know, you, you, you noticed that, Hey, something's going on. Remember that time, you, you know, you talked about it when we got in that, that argument and, and you finally felt something and you realized that that is an unusual thing for you, you yeah. know? Yeah. So I think that's like your signal that, Hey, something's going on. I'm not whatever. Or, or when I was talking about how, uh, I don't get enjoyment from the same things I used to, mm-hmm. um, that's a signal for me that like, Oh, something's going on. I need to whatever it is like yeah talk to you talk to someone about it or or, or get help from whatever but like you know that yeah. indicator yeah. light that thing yes. with the, the canary in the in the coal mine that's going to be that's hard to find you know because my, my it, you have to be thing, really aware of yourself yeah, yeah. and i think i, I just want to guess that the three of us are the same in this way if i can't laugh about it if i can't find anything funny I'm yeah fucked. I'm yes. fucked. yeah i yes. actually yes. find i actually found that mm. i wasn't i didn't i didn't feel funny you know mm. i i could laugh at other things or whatever but like the stuff yeah i just wasn't excited to do stand up i wasn't excited about my jokes and that was yes. like a yes, huge yes, huge yes, red yes, flag yes. okay okay yeah, yeah. Ah, well, you know me, Mike. You know me, right? And I know. You know, I know. if you know Dude. this, if, if you know anything about me, you know oh, that I'm, uh, out, I'm out there. Yes. I'm out there. You're pa- out there. I'm out there. 
pounding. And a lot of people are like, for me, why are you so good at pounding? And by a lot of people, yeah. I always ask that. <laughs> yeah. I don't even believe you. By, by a lot of people, I just mean Mike. The secret is, it is Helix Sleep Mattress. Helix Sleep has a quiz that takes just two minutes to complete and matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. Why would you buy a mattress made for someone else? With Helix, you're getting a mattress that you know will be perfect for the way you sleep and pounding. <laughs> Everybody's unique and pounds uniquely, and Helix knows that. <laughs> So they have a different. Uh, they have several different mo- uh, mattress models t- uh, to choose from. They have soft, <laughs> medium, and firm. Uh-huh. Wink, wink. Mattresses. Mattresses is great for cooling you down if you get hot, and even a Helix Plus mattress for plus size sleepers. Because hey, man, everybody needs love. Just go to helixsleep.com/asian. Take their two-minute sleep quiz, and they'll match you to the customized mattress that will give you the best sleep slash pound of your life. They have a 10-year warranty, and you get to try it out for free for 100 nights, risk-free. They'll even pick it up for you if you don't love it, but you will. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helix.com slash Asian. That's helix.com slash Asian for up to $200 off and when you're doing your threesomes, Mm -hmm, two mm -hmm. free pillows. Now back to this. The other thing to to Mike's point of like, it's fine, this is how life is is that in some ways you're just like, it, it, it is sometimes best to to go through the fire instead yeah, of yeah. trying to avoid it. Yep, um, yep. You guys can already tell I already like certain imagery and helps me. Yeah. But sometimes yeah. <laughs> when we put like that, like we there, we have like very let's, picture a bank and instead of money, what we're depositing are th- like the things that we're angry about, the things that make us sad, you know what I mean? But those, and we're like, oh, we'll save it for later. Save yeah, for later, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And yes. what save it for later means is like these the high interest, <laughs> like oh, okay, high okay. interest. And every yeah. time we put it, we save something for later. The sadness, this yeah. feeling to save it for later. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm focusing yeah, on something it's else. Growing. <laughs> it's growing. It's growing to the yeah. point where it bursts. It's gonna be huge. Yeah, it this is a yeah. crazy <laughs> analogy. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, okay, you know, yeah. I, I, some work, some you're don't. Putting, <laughs> you're putting. No, it's, you're it's putting. No, this is your, yeah, yeah. You're putting okay. stuff into into your. Uh, into your uh, uh, Roth IRA, <laughs> yes. and, it's, and it's, I don't know, I don't know yeah. where this is going, but you know, your, your capital you said one, things. yeah, yeah, no. you know, you know for, for the younger kids, it's cryptocurrency, right? Yo, yeah, yo, yeah, man, you imagine, oh, imagine that Dogecoin is getting crazy, you know, like that's cr- but, yeah, but that's, it's I feel not you. Good, this in it's this not case, this is it's bad. not great. This is real bad, and it and it erupts, and not, you know, and and you. Yeah, you, I mean, I've, I, depression, yes, but also with anger for me, where I'm just like, oh, it's fine, it's yeah. fine, it's fine. Yeah, and then yeah, all of a sudden, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, with my, um, back when I did with my partner, I would just like let things slide, let things slide. And then he would do something that, like, hey, it warranted a conversation, but my mm-hmm. reaction would be so not, fitting of whatever he did yes, like yeah, so yes. excessive that now we got to talk about me oh, yeah, <laughs> like, and yeah. i have to apologize because it was so outsized yeah. it was so so i mean and then thinking about that when we're just like i'm not dealing with the, a root co- issue yeah i'm yes. not dealing with a root issue that keeps coming up for me in different ways because i haven't figured it out yeah mm-hmm. I, and i, I haven't yeah. un you know you gotta unwind the, it yeah, yeah. You have to I, re, like, rewire sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love this yeah. concept of spending your emotions. It's about spending. Yeah, your, yes. you gotta, spending you gotta, yes. yeah, you gotta use it. Up when you it feel it, you have to use up. it. Yeah, otherwise, someone's like a very good emotional accountant's gonna put it into the S and P five hundred, and it's you know, it's, oh god, uh, it's post COVID times, and, and the market is doing great right now. So, I mean, I, I just have a thought, like. My friend was talking about like, I'm not going to leave my kids shit. Like I'll work with their, <laughs> I'll work, yeah. I'll work with like, you know, I'll help them with education, but like, I'm not going to leave. They're not waiting for an inheritance. Right. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. what Spend if we, if our parents, we have an inheritance and it's not money and it's all their trauma. It's what a, if oh my God. We, we 100% bank? do. Yo, yeah, so yeah. that is a hundred percent. We definitely, it. we they definitely, yes. They saved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They saved no, they, it. They held like, on. Hey, right. Mike? Yeah, and, like they held on. And to you, I bequeath, my depression yes. and uh you know to uh to my to the younger sister i uh i'm, I'm giving you um you know uh bad coping mechanisms um, exactly yeah, yeah. we're all definitely getting that from yeah. our asian you're, parents you're, you're sitting there like Don't, didn't you buy any apple stock <laughs> no 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 we just have no, uh, we no. have all this trouble but, from being refugees but i do have uh never talk to your spouse how about that <laughs> exactly. i got that i got that yeah. how's that 
And, yeah, I feel wow. that. Um, that's, so let's that's spend good. it. Let's spend it. I like that. Right? Let's like break this. the cycle. Let's spend it. Yeah. Let's find Make ways. it rain. You know, spend it, it with rain. the Supreme Money Gun. <laughs> Use the Supreme <laughs> Money Gun and put your emotions in. Like, just get it all. Yeah, psh, get you know what I'm saying? There. Yeah. Yeah. 24 yeah. We gotta be like emo- like rappers, but about emotions. You know. But with emotions, <laughs> just get it all out, baby. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 It's like hey. we, should, we should make a really sad music video, like Seriously, a really sad no. one for all but of like, us. Fumi, meet me at the spot. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I gotta show, show you. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I love it. Let's talk about the gift that keeps on giving. Hello, Tushy Bidet. It cleans your butt way better than wiping, cuts your toilet paper use down by 80%, saves trees, and all the thousands of gallons of water used to convert them into toilet paper. And it comes with a book full of poop jokes. My butt is in love. Guys, here at Asian Not Asian, uh, we love Tushy. Mike and I both use it. And if you're wondering, guys, why why are you guys always in sync? Why are you guys, the banter is amazing. You guys are so freaking funny. What is your secret? Well, it's because we have clean butts. That is our secret. The Hello Tushy Bidet washes your bum with fresh water for a way better clean than toilet paper. Make the restroom your best room with the complete Tushy system, including the Tushy Bidet attachment ottoman. It's got an ottoman, oh my god. Toilet brush and Tushy stand and tissues. Join the millions of happy Hello Tushy customers right now who take care of their Yule logs the dignified way. Give the gift of a clean bum to yourself and your loved ones this holiday season and get 10% off plus free shipping right now at hellotushy.com slash ANA. That's hellotushy.com slash ANA for 10% off and free shipping. You know, one thing I wanted to really talk to you about, I know that, um, you know, I, I kind of want to just also bring this up, you know, as far as stressors in, in my life, you know, my wife and I were trying to have children and right now um we're going through the ivf cycle and i uh i don't want to talk about it too much in detail for me mainly because i actually don't know all the things i don't want to fuck it up okay because i'll be honest with you i'm a dude and dudes have almost nothing to do with this <laughs> you know <laughs> I'm, you know are you, gi- I'm there are you to giving support. her the shots i'm giving her the shots That's i'm giving good. her the shots and I'm there, and I'm going to like the the meetings and stuff like that. She's like really doing all the work, uh, yeah. but we're going through the we're going through the cycle. We're going through the cycles. We've been mm-hmm. through a few, and we've we're in the we're in the midst of it. And okay. it's been it's been just so um, intense because it's not like any other kind of thing you're doing. You know, like uh, mm-hmm. people say, "Oh, we're trying," right? Like that's like the phrase that people say, "We're trying." Yeah. And it's, but it's not like we're going to the gym, <laughs> you know, we, this is like, this is an, uh, I, I, I don't want to make it seem like it's more important than anything else, but it is like an existential thing that we're going through. Yeah. Not just because like, oh, we're you know trying to make another person, but it's like all the things you're, that is, is you gets pulled into this, you know? And I think it's, it's much more so for a woman than for a man, but like all the things you're you, you've ever thought about yourself and valued gets pulled into this thing you know and it lays bare all those things right and it's just like you know it, it's it's as it's as as it's weird because it's as mundane and as intense as you can imagine because it's just like day after day of like doing the same thing doing the shots uh, and like going to the doctor talking to the doctor trying not to get your hopes up on stuff but you can't help it you know, yeah, and it's just like, course. it's, it's wild. So, you know, Klopp, I know, you know, you've spoken a little bit about your own sort of experience with this. Um, but you know, I, I just wanted to kind of open it up a little bit for you to see, you know, how much you wanted to share about it. Uh, and, and, you know, yeah. uh, cause again, we're talking about this mental health thing yeah. and uh, they're definitely interrelated for us. Oh yes. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Oh yes. Um, so just to talk about my background is that Scott and I, um, we've been trying, so I'm 41, right? We've yeah. been trying, uh, I had my first mar- miscarriage at like 34. Mm-hmm. And then I think I didn't go into the fertility clinic to like 36, 34, 36. Is yeah. that right? It, it's been a long road. Let's just say that. And yeah. I've done, um, I've done IVF. I've done, I think about four four egg retrievals yeah um and you know first egg retrieval i remember when we were sitting there 
and the talking to the financial person they're like you know it's actually um cheaper if you just like uh set up now that you're gonna do like two or three and we're like yes. why would we need That's... to do that yeah 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 <laughs> and i get it like it's gonna work the first time like like right. kim, kim kardashian comes to this office like yeah <laughs> it's gonna be fine <laughs> like and little did we know <laughs> it, yeah. even after the first one i had um i had a lot of eggs um, but what happens is it's like, oh yeah, we got like 18 eggs, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got no, 18 yeah. eggs. And that's, that's a good number. That's, that's what your guy just sounds like. He's like, yeah, we no, got yeah. 18 eggs. You really do. You go, <laughs> you watch the, you watch the video and it's like, okay, we, we, we get this many eggs and then you sort them by like quality. Yes. Right. <gasps> and you so sort then, them by quality. And mm -hmm. so then that narrows it down, right? It narrows it down. Yep. And then what, like, we, what are the best candidates to, um, get, put a uh, sperm right. into right right and then the those, best ones are the best you know yeah. though then those guys they yeah. got to grow a little bit and then it they have to grow down again and then if there's a down because they might be uh mosaic abnormal. or they might be good abnormal you got to throw yeah. those away they're not good and then then they they suggest that uh you should then um test those right and then them. narrow down again there's so a all down. of a sudden right. the first time you might was have like, zero oh, yeah. yeah exactly and that's out uh, of 18 yeah, exactly. Four. And the last time I did it, uh, we ended up with zero. And it, that was like, OK. And as yep. we speak to the woman, I'll, I'll, from my woman's perspective, and I'll speak only of mine, right. I'm just like, and, and I know this is wrong when I say this, yes. but I but it wasn't I built to do this. Yes. Like, yes, isn't yes, this yes, what yes, I yes. why can't I That's right. why can't I do this? And everything yeah. in my life, I have been able to just push through and I've been able to just like work hard and right. get results. And this yep. has not been this, that. It is, yeah. And it's a series of just like, just it has humbled me. Yeah. And brought me to my knees. And and and, and I've because also guys, I've been I, I'm I've miscarried six times. Jesus. So Sorry. it's yeah, it's brutal. <laughs> it's That's, so yeah. brutal. Mm -hmm. Because of course, like you're that what you were saying about that hopefulness that you know. You try not for, to think about it. Yeah, it's really hard, and and there also there's so many things like don't stress out, <laughs> don't right. stress out, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like mm. don't 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 you know? Don't do this. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. Um, you know, my stomach is still scarred from all the shots, all of right. the, and then to I forget like maybe the I've it was a few years ago or may yeah, maybe like three years ago after doing maybe two, three retreat. Yeah. Two retreat. How many transfers have I done? I think uh, yeah. uh, of the, of the six, four of them have been, is that right? Four or three of them were miscarriages from transfers from, from putting an embryo from an implantation. And in, yeah. A yes. Mm. Um, and I think before the last, yeah, finally they were like you know what let's do let's let's check maybe there's something going on in, in inside of you that we need to check like right. a, an additional test and trust yeah. that like fumi i am just a pin cushion i'm constantly yeah. a pin yeah. cushion up so many ultrasounds up they're the just badge, like yeah they're up in there like, they're checking uh, it out constantly yep. constantly yeah. going to the doctor's office and they're like let's do this additional of course more expensive thing that we wait we sure. wait to unless we think we really need it and they go in um uh, i forget what it's called uh but basically it's like with a camera they they yeah. go in and they find out that my uterus which should sort of sort of be Mm -hmm. like like this yeah. right i'm holding it up mm -hmm. like this uh for your listeners that mine was heart-shaped so it mm -hmm. had yeah uh it's like it, it, septum a septum mm -hmm. at the top which oh. could they were like well maybe this was the reason perhaps ah. this was the reason mm -hmm. that yeah. and in and, and the the eggs couldn't implant it couldn't hold on oh, as much interesting. And, and many women by the way have this yeah. and they don't realize it and they yes. carry carry births and it's okay it's just like less room for the right. baby sometimes you know i have a friend who had kind of a couple difficult births and sometimes you just never know right um so what they did is i did a procedure where they shaved it back okay and mm -hmm. and then when i when I, and i did that uh, i was under um in in a, it was a, it was a surgery and then I went back to check out in the office. They're like, let's shave it back a little bit more. I think we should oh, shave wow. it back a little bit more. Oh my God. Well, cut to another miscarriage. And yeah. I was like, I think we have to just go to another um, clinic. We've been here for so long. I just think mm. I love, I love my doctor, I, but 
uh, try I, something else. I gotta try something else. Um, yeah. so started to go see a new doctor and she, she believes that in that second procedure, they went too far. They oh, took too much. Oh Come on. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And so what happens is my uterine lining, um, needs it should line the whole thing that there's a scar at the very top oh and that makes me um it's really hard to carry basically Mm. and they can they can repair it but the question is a a proven uterus will will carry way better than a repaired uterus right right so at that point we decided, and this took a lot. <laughs> yeah. uh, um, we decided to to explore surrogacy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, because I have one left. I have one. Right. I have one female embryo. You have, you have one embryo. Have one. Yeah. And, the, and and the 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 last retrieval, Mike. I had like we we ended up with zero on it, and I yeah zero. I, I it's not that it was so painful. I just. I just don't want to do it again. You know, yeah. like I, yeah. I, I've been through it It in it and it takes my emotions up. Like when you're pregnant guys, it's like, hit, like you're like high, like yeah. you're high and yeah, like, yeah. it's like, ah, oh, everything is great, you know? And then when you stop being pregnant, your estrogen just goes, it just goes down. Mm, like the sure. dopamine just goes boom. Yeah, like right it's now. brutal. It's for me, I was like, oh yeah, it's okay. But just the day in, day out. And it takes so much Yep. of my my mind and because you guys get this like i actually think especially the last like four years it's it's really i just wonder what i would be like if this wasn't hanging over me in terms yeah. of like my even like my creative mm, mm. it takes like, a, it's just like output. such a huge yeah a huge yeah. like amount of your mental space you know and and, and these last i to be honest like the last three years i would say after like bajillion after like um um, do the doc documentary and stuff. I, I've also felt like I've also had like job miscarriages where it's like mm. not things haven't been happening, you know, like it, mm-hmm. it, 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 to me, these paths, like you mm-hmm. said, are just like parallel. Yeah. Like I, I, I've been feeling, you know, I mean, and, and this, this is all oh, 100% made me depressed. <laughs> like it's yeah. just been, yeah. yeah. And I'm supposed to like, you know, and you, we're all like, you know, get the whole thing of like, fall down eight get up nine fall down eight get up right nine. this is yeah. it's eight, it's eight, it's nine. it's like it's so crazy because you you know you're right we're i think especially creative people we're so used to like well get back on the horse and try again you know yeah, like yeah. and i'll learn about it you know but there's so many times with this sort of thing there's so much that's out of your hands yeah you know not not just and, and out of the doctor's hands and out yeah. of like whoever's hand. No, it's true. It's like th- there's this X factor that like they're only basing on what forty years. Yeah. And they they're only it's like a numbers game. Like well, normally this percentage. Exactly. You know, and you're like, well, why yeah. doesn't it work for me? I thought you know I'm seem to be help. You know, I, I don't know. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And then by the way, yeah. like everybody else's stuff and their opinions like i'm at a place where like i can't even hear like you know what my sister-in-law did yeah oh, yeah totally that, no, you know no, what i mean no she, no she just it, it, and this irrelevant. whole thing is like yeah it, yeah exactly yeah. it's like oh yeah it's like when you stop caring that's when it what happens it's like oh, fuck you. <laughs> no way no fuck way dude you you don't know oh. and i remember like sharing something online and someone's like well pull up the issue is is that you're fat I'm like, fuck yeah, there you, go. you. Come on. Like, you like, please just like right away know that I have done everything. That's why I right, steamed right. my yoni to make this full yeah, circle. Yeah, dude. I don't I know, mean, think this... that that's something I would do, but there I was in Pasadena squatting <laughs> on top of you like, go. you know, this like yep. this water, just like, will this help? Will, yeah. will, my, will Mayan stomach massage help? Yeah. Will you're, like, you, you know, you, you, like, you're willing to give it a shot because you're just like, I will do almost anything to like alleviate this pressure that you know is is happening you know i I understand now like what um you know the lengths of of what what if somebody was like hey uh you know you this could happen for you and you will never work again and i'll be like done cool Mm -hmm. whatever you whatever you want people don't you know you you, this isn't like a lack of trying 
This isn't right, like right, one right, of those right. things. This isn't right. like, a, oh, I just try harder, buddy. What the fuck does that even mean? You know what I'm but, saying? But, but <laughs> also like, so, like from hearing, and I only know a little bit from what Mike has told me and, and sharing, you know, hearing, thank you for sharing that collab. But it, it also sounds like even if there was some method after a certain time, like it really sounds like the woman is like a lab rat, you know? Yeah, and, you don't. Uh, yeah, you like, get like depersonalized. And, and you, bit, yeah, yeah, and you you also have to make sure you're doing okay. Like, ca- can you go do this Peruvian ayahuasca in your vagina <laughs> thing? Like, you know, yes, what I mean? like, do, yes. do you even want to do that? Because like, how do you feel about? Of course, you no. want the kid, but it's like if if that's your 107th yeah, time doing something like that, that y- you still have to, you know. Fumi, that's feel exactly. Human. Yeah, this is exactly. So where I'm at right now, and there's been a bit of like a release in that. This is this is this is our shot. This is it. Yep. Yeah. I'm not going to do another transfer again. I'm 41. And generally they say at like, I think 37 is when you're like, a, nobody wants to hear this, but a geriatric. Yeah. Woman. Geriatric. <laughs> yeah. Mother, whatever. Geriatric, whatever maybe yeah, it's like, pregnancy, ah. whatever. yeah, 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 and, yeah. And trust me, I've heard the like, well, you waited too long. Yeah, I know. Well, I couldn't do it before. Okay, guys. Like I, this is, yeah. this yeah, is, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, yeah. what it is, you know? Um, but uh, like I, I, I reached a place where it's like, I just can't keep doing this. Like I can't. Yes. So we go for this, we do this and we have a surrogate. We went, we, oh God, we it just officially signed the paperwork last week. Like this okay. is, you're oh hitting me gosh. at a great time. Yeah. yeah. We're doing this wild thing. Like have I ever, uh, w- signing contracts to have like a jurisdiction, minor jurisdiction mm-hmm. on another woman's body. Did I ever mm-hmm. in my wildest yeah. dreams even want to do that no does this make me uncomfortable yes <laughs> like yeah, yeah, have i yeah. had to like you know mourn the loss of carrying a child yeah <laughs> like it's yeah. just every yeah all of this right but at the end of the day i really want i want a kid and yeah. and the other thing is like well what about what about adoption well um if if this was three years ago i, I would consider it but i'm mm. this is my sh- i i chose a yeah. path and this is my shot I, I can't take that. I won't. I actually can't take that on again. Like yeah. I can't mm-hmm. diverge. Mm-hmm. I don't have any more. What I have that's left like is that's like a whole other. Yeah, yeah. Like that's not easy either. Mountain yeah. to climb. Yeah. 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 No, Absolutely. by the way, guys, because I did look into it, and that's why I made my choice. I foolishly thought that there was an orchard of babies that you could pick, no. and yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> it yeah, was. Yeah. You know, there's even. And we don't even have to get into it, but it is, you're right. It, there, it's its own thing. And I'm just making choices based on what I think is best for my family. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and the fact that I had the one, you know, I had this one yeah. embryo. And when I talked to my friends uh, who have been having trouble too, they were like, cool up, you have one. Like, yeah. with voices filled with like envy. Like, I have Dude, friends who I mean, don't, can't get an know, egg. You know, it, like yeah. it's... Yeah, it is, so, it is something, you know, like you you know fuck man you know like you 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 don't even um like i'm hearing this you know everything you're telling me and everything that you know my wife and i have gone through you know i don't even want to say like good luck or something i'm just saying Mm -hmm. like i i respect all your decisions you know and i think it's really big to say this is you know i'm not going to do any more you know what i'm saying because this is really what that comes down to is like i'm want to have some control over my life whether it's accepting this or not yeah and that's mm-hmm. really what this is all about like you're trying to like accept this thing and you know my wife and i too we were like you know it it, it if if it doesn't work it do, you know we tried you know and we at least yes. we have each other and like yes. that's cool some people don't even have that and that's yeah. cool yeah yeah and so it's a little hack though yeah it's a <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you go oh there god. you go thank you thank oh my you. god <laughs> The love is so lame. And they have each other. That's all, everybody. You fucking all right. hack. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. You got me. I love it. Yeah. Love all right. It. Well, <laughs> thank you very much for joining us, Kulop. I uh, love you this guys. Is, we so we love you. I met you guys. You're so fun. And, you know, I really do hope that we can, like, hang out. And yeah, we will. I, Fumi and I can, so we yes. will. I'm here. Let's let's hang out next week or something. Whenever yeah, you have time. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'll be I'll be in town next week. Oh, great. Just for a weekend. I'm I'm in town for 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 a weekend. Um and then but then you know, I mean, you know, my family's in Southern California, so like I'll Oh, right I'll, on. I'll, we'll yeah. figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it okay, out, let's you know. Do it. Let's cool. do it. Cool, we'll do our cool, thing. Cool. It'll be great. Um but uh once again, Kulop, uh thank you very much for joining us and sharing your the the 
this whole thing it's it, that's all i can say is thank you for that and uh you know where can our uh fans uh find you and your work and what, what are you up to um yeah check out add to cart pod with suchin pak um and follow us at at add to cart pod <laughs> and at i am cool up on ig that's gonna i'm on instagram that's i like that <laughs> Hell yeah! I like yeah. the visuals. The visuals. Yeah, I get it, dude. Check out, check out Kulop's um, way too early decorations on Instagram, <laughs> on <Yeah>. YouTube. <laughs> yes, and you also know, you guys see that dance? Come on, that's hot. This is a good dance. <laughs> Um, and also, if you want to hear more from Kulab, check out the pre- uh, episode that she did. I don't remember what number it is, but just Google it. And uh, she did an episode like, uh, I don't know, six months ago with us. So definitely check that conversation yeah, it's great. out. Um, also, please follow us on all the social media platforms at Asian Not Asian Pod. I am also on there at the Fumi Yabe, the C H U F U M I A B E. You can find me on Instagram at NicePantsBro. Uh, please come check out our next Hack City comedy show. That's going to be 7 o'clock.